welcome back. Give you a bit of a wipe. I haven't cleaned you since mine had. So back out again. Obviously, <clears throat> I haven't posted any of the videos yet, so I've got a couple to go out. Um, last one was mine over small eyes and spot. I appreciate it probably wasn't the best quality video um, as it was pitch black. Um, and I got there in the dark and the whole session was in the dark and obviously packed up <clears throat> went home and said dark. So come down to the far reaches of Chesil. So we're not clogged an end. We're um, after bream, triggers, going to red mullet place, all that sort of stuff. Um, gonna fish the whole flood since so about two now, two in the afternoon, <clears throat> set off about 12. Um, we're gonna fish till about 10 at night and then go home. It's only getting about one o'clock in the morning. So what have I got today? The rig's going out at first, two hook clip downs, size ones. We've got one on a five ounce roll in, um, so it can roll around and find a fish, and the other's on a six ounce grip, both same rigs. There's literally two hook clip down. So that hook then clips to that cascade swivel, and then that one then clips to the splash down at the bottom. Um, bait of choice for that is going to be one black lug and a little strip of squid on the end for a bit of flappage. Um, see if we can get some breathing place on that and then as it gets dark I know there's some big eels around <clears throat> so when I catch an annoying little pout which is inevitable it's going on these big pair of 7.0s on my wire trace and it's going to get lumped out for an eel and see if something plays ball and that's pretty much it so I'm just going to get baited up and uh, see how we go Better say thanks to Phil, fishing with Phil. So he's going to bag up and I'm going to stand and watch. But I've lost the nut up in there. It's now to go by a tie wrap. Obviously, as soon as that drops, <clears throat> I can't find it. I've looked all over the shingle around me. Can't see it anywhere. Anyway, I'll get uh, baited up, have some lunch, and hopefully catch some fish. Keep you posted how we do. I'm not going to suck eggs on how to bait up. That is what it looks like. One black lug. Bit of squid on the bottom, then my little keep poking outside there. Literally, my small bait. Job them. Does it work? First cast, cast, boom! Oh, Codito, you know, big enough for a fish finger. On the same rig at the same time. No bad bream. Oh, there you go. Ah, target achieved. Two species in one go, which is a good start, absolutely. I'm starving, I haven't had any breakfast or any lunch so far. I'll get a bait out, nothing will happen, I'll sit down and eat my lunch and then boom, off it went. Hopefully, it's not the first cast curse and the fish carry on. But it's nice to come out and actually hit the target straight away. Normally I come here and uh, watch Phil catch loads of fish, so. Done all right. Done all right. Some tuna down in the distance there. I don't know what gone now. If you can see, if I pop you out like that. That's this bivy. Swing around. Wow, there. Can't zoom. Loads of gulls and tuna kicking up. So, it'll be good to watch. Got the float rig for a macro and a gar. So, I'll uh, have a go with that. So, I'll have one out for and bream on a two hook clip down rig and the other one I'll have on a float give that a bash and then later on I'll um, put the congo one out and see if I can get a nice fat eel on the note of a fat eel I'm going to eat some dinner I'll uh, keep trying and then keep your post value too uh, I'll sit down for lunch and the rod goes woof actually gave quite a good fight for itself tiny little spotty dog there he is Woof, 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 woof. All right, I'm getting back, get baited up, and have my dinner. Hopefully, the mother of all bream come along while I do it. I'll keep posted, and they just keep coming. Bunk, little pouty wouty. Wink, and a white in. It's doing all right today. Five species. Can't complain at all. All right, get these two back, get rebaited, and I might get some lunch. Can't complain. There's fishing. Anyway, let's get baited. Ah. Bream number two. Again, small, but still a bream. Just crossed over my own line. I'll show you. Put him down in it. Oh, 
had a slack line while I was reeling in. I thought, what the hell's going on here? Turns out both my rigs are together. So I'll sort them out, get re rigged, re baited, and uh, get back out there. God, it's busy. I can't complain, but it's definitely busy. Uh, it's quite nice because normally I come to Chazor and it's shit. So actually, I can't complain at all. Very nice. Okay, this is a bit too busy now. So happy medium. Get a bait out. As soon as it's out, it's coming back on the deck with a fish on. We've got it. That'll be another job. Anyway, get this done. And uh, I'll let you know how we do. Busy, busy. Busy, busy, busy all the time. But. Ooh, caught him. Ta da! Have a little cod, codlin, whatever you want to call him. All fall into the black lug. And along with the cod came another black bream. Oh, there you go. Can't complain at all. Better get this one back. Coddy's coming home for tea. I'll have a fish and chips or that, I think. I'll uh, get this one back, keep him alive, get rebaited and see what else is out there. Keep it posted. Another double look up. One fell off. I think it was a conga because it's twisted the bottom look up. And a pout, eight ounces. Still quite busy, so basically you cast out. In a couple of seconds, it's dunk, 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 dunk. But I think there's quite a lot of little bream out there. Um, just stripping the worm off. But, Keep plodding away, can't complain at all now. A couple of cod, a couple of bream, threw a few bream back now. Phil's had a nice big bream, he's a 1.6, something like that, a 1.8. Um, so he's had a nice fish as well, so keep plugging away, tide's just flooding now. It's just ideal time really. Still haven't eaten my lunch, but I'll do that when the fish stop feeding. Anyway, best get baited up and back out. Still going strong, another cod. three for dinner now. It's still busy. Um, literally, you wang them out and it's like you land on the fish's head. I had loads of pout in, um, a couple of white and one strap eel. But obviously, I don't think you guys need to see what a strap eel or a white in looks like. I think we've all seen them. Um, they're not very big. The pout, biggest pout was nine ounces. So nothing massive. It's getting a bit dimsy now as well. So. See what happens. I've not had any more bream. Phil's had a few. Um, yeah, but still busy, busy. Still busy. To be fair, this is probably up there with the most I've ever caught on Chesil Beach, which is quite nice. Because normally, what have I done here? Normally, I catch a couple of strap eels and I'm going annoyed. And Phil will pull out a big sole and a bass and something else. And go him happy and say that was a really good trip and in my head I'll be thinking that was shit. Whoa that's a bit bigger. Oh Phil just caught a bigger cod. It's now turning into fish on my Phil. Nice. Alright let's get these baits out and uh, see what we get. There we go. Have a little breamy, 15 ounces. So busy. We've had three cod uh, each. Minutes is just on literally blacks. Um, I've had a few uh, a few bream now, but the littler ones I've put obviously back. Um, 15 ounces is probably my limit to take home. So These waves just picked up. You could hear them. It was like a milk on when we got here. Um, yeah, so got a little stash each, a couple of bream, a couple of bream each, a couple of cod each. Um, we're both fishing a club comp at the minute where you need a percentage fish. Um, and it's the amount of species at percentage as well. So I've got a white in and a pout in. 
so far. That black bream was quite close, only one ounce off. But we'll keep going and see how we do. In a minute I've got one out as far as I can get it, and one just in close. Um, both seem to be fishing fairly well. To be fair, the tide's come in quite nicely now, so let's get this worm on so I can concentrate. I'll do two things at once, see? And literally, all it is, one little black lug like that, pull the stop knot down, like that, and I'll just tip it with a tiny bit of squid on the end. Literally, a quarter of a little, little quarter like that will do. And stick that on, and plonk it out. I nearly had my lunch. I uh, started eating my McCoy's crisps. And then I had a bite on one, and then a bite on the other, so I had to just pour the McCoys in my mouth and crunch them up. Um, and got them both out again. I thought oh, I'll have my Belgian bun. Bit into my Belgian bun, and then it went off with that bream. So hopefully, in a minute, I'll have five minutes to chill. Can't complain. Don't get me wrong, I'm not moaning. Sometimes it's just hard. Hard work, isn't it? Alright, he's baited up, ready to go. Let's see how we do. Ooh, another black bream. That one's bigger. One pound. Yeah, you know, one ten. Stunning fish. Absolute beauty. As it stands at the minute. I've got one, two, three. four cod and four black bream. So I've got fish for days now. So unless I catch a massive cod, everything else is going back. But um, we haven't, we literally haven't stopped since we've been here. And it's literally like cast, cast, cast. And I've gone through rigs, but not for the fact of they're wrecked, it's the fact that. We've had white in, pout in, bream, dogfish, cod, and they're just getting devastated. We're getting through a couple of rigs just by the fish destroying them. So far, so bloody good. Broken Beach is doing me well tonight. So, better get on. Got no rods in the water. So, better do something about that. Just having a five minute chill, I think. I'll uh, keep you posted. There's a little haul of fish down there, look. See that? Right? Show you at the end of the final tally. Anyway, fingers crossed, I'll let you know how I get on. I've got no light. Check out this whopper. Let's see it. 12 10. Oh, bring up no, 11 10. Oh. 11 10. 11 10 and a half. 11 10 half. New PB. What a stonker of a cod. What a beaut. That's incredible. There he is. I think he's in there. You just can't see anything because you're torch. Yeah, he's in there. All right, I'll do you a picture. All right, we are done. Just packing up to go home. There's the hall. Five cod, one black bream, and then I've got a few more breamies in the bag over there. Phil's had a very similar haul, obviously extra with his uh, red mullet and his huge cod. But I have to say, it has been a very busy. I can't get my headlight off. Fucking, there you go. A very busy session. But I'll um, need to wait for at least he's things to go in. I'll um, get her well edited tomorrow, get put up maybe tomorrow evening sometime, maybe Monday. I've got a few to get done, obviously I'll be having fish for tea. Um, so I'll get all them done and stuck up. If you like them, obviously give us a like and subscribe. If they're not your cup of tea then don't bother, it's entirely up to you. But 
this is probably one of my better, if not best, chesel session for sure. <clears throat> On that note, tight lines, until next time.